Hello everyone. We are going to get started on our mat in a seated position. This is a nice yoga stretch about 10 minutes after arm day. So we can go ahead and get started in a seated position. And get over there. Sit however is comfortable. You can cross your legs, have them out in front of you. You can be in butterfly pose, whatever, whatever feels good for you. Get something to block if you want to. Whatever feels good. So we're going to come in just to a seated position and we're going to interlace our fingers and then flip our palms out. And so they're pressing away from us and just arch our back, stretching out through the upper back, a little bit through our arms, a little bit through our palms. And then we're going to reverse that. So we're going to interlace our hands behind our back. Just open up through the chest. This one feels really good. And again, we're going to analyze the hands in front of us and we're going to push that away from us. Maybe curling our chin towards our chest, getting more of a stretch in our neck, which feels nice after arm day. And then reverse that. I don't know, I feel like I always find myself tensing up through my neck whenever I'm doing my arm workouts and it always feels good to do that after. One more time, let's interlace in front of us and push our palms away. Do whatever you need in this moment, take whatever you want, leave whatever you don't. And then we'll reverse that one last time, interlacing behind our backs. Mm -hmm. Opening up our chest towards the sky, like there's a light on our heart shining up towards the sky or ceiling, wherever you're at. And then we're going to come back to center. And we're going to take our right hand and plant it out to our side, reaching our left arm up towards the sky, and just having a nice lateral bend, taking as deep as you want or as easy and shallow as you want, whatever you need. Really just focus on getting the stretch all down the left side of our body. Breathing in here, we'll take about three to four breaths here. Seeking deeper in each, with each exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, inhale, rise up to center. And we'll just take that on the other side, on the other side. So plant your left hand, reach that right arm up to the sky, bend towards that side. Now we're feeling the stretch in on our right side, the lateral side. You can either look up toward the sky or down towards your hand just out in front. You can take it down to your elbow like I am. You can let your, lift, your hip lift if it lifts, that's fine. Two more breaths here. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, rise back up. Shake it out a little bit. And then we're going to bring our, our fingertips to our shoulders. And we're just going to do some easy arm circles forward. Really just moving our shoulders, giving them some movement after we've been super stable with them for the past 45 minutes to an hour. And then we're going to reverse that. So going back. Yeah, nice. Don't forget to breathe, like I just did. Okay, come back to center. All right, your hands to your thighs. And then now we're gonna go into another arm stretch. So we're gonna bring our left ear towards our left shoulder. And then we're gonna bring our palm out, flexing our fingertips back towards our forearm. 
And the lower you go, the less intense the stretch is, but the higher you bring your arm, the more intense the stretch is. This one is not very fun, but it does what it needs to do. And afterwards you feel great. Again, listen to what your body needs. Taking it lower is totally okay. Just a few more breaths here. You can do it. This is just you saying thank you to your body for all the hard work that it does. And back to center. And we'll switch sides. So we'll bring our right ear towards our right shoulder, reaching our left arm out, starting low. I feel it here. Bringing it up a little bit more to wherever feels good. We're not going to go higher than shoulder width because then you can't feel the stretch as much. So the highest you can go is shoulder width. Bring it low. The lower you go, the more intense the stretch is going to be right here. The higher you go, the more intense the stretch is going to be for you. Nice job, everyone. One more breath. Inhale. Stay for the exhale and back to center. And now we're going to meet into a tabletop position. However you'd like to get there. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and finding stability here. And on your next inhale, go ahead and reach your right arm towards the sky, getting an easy twist here. And exhale, thread the needle. Bring that right arm to the, to the ground, your shoulder to the ground. Your palms, your right palm is facing up towards the sky. And then if you want, go ahead and crawl that left arm forward. So we're in thread the needle pose, really focusing on the stretch in our, in our lats and our upper back on the right side. Just here for a few breaths. Take what you need, leave what you don't. If this doesn't feel good, go ahead and come out of it. If it doesn't feel good, go ahead and come out. We'll just do an easy stretch with this. But if you're still in throw the needle pose, let's go ahead and bring that right or left arm underneath our left shoulder and peel back up the way we came and plant your hand again. Again, if that doesn't feel good, just go ahead and come into a nice easy pose right here. We'll just bring our forearms together. So that's right right here. But if you like throw the needle, as much as I do, we're going to come back into it. So now reaching our left arm towards the sky, easy twist, and exhale, threading the needle, bringing that left shoulder towards the ground now, and reaching that right arm long. <sighs> Saying thank you to our back for keeping us so stable all the time. And saying thank you to Sprinkle for always pushing us to lift harder and to lift more weight. One more breath in and stay for the exhale. Plant that right arm back underneath the shoulder, lift up, easy twist, and exhale. Take your hand back onto the ground. And now we're going to come into our bellies. So walk your feet out, and just go ahead and come onto your belly however you'd like. And now we're going to take our arms into field goal, into practice or field goal arms. So they're out towards the side, our elbows are bent, our palms are planted onto the ground, and we're just sitting here for a second. And then we're going to bring our right arm underneath our right shoulder. And we're just going to easy and slowly roll over onto the left side. Listening to your body, only going as far as you want to feel that stretch in your chest, in your upper shoulder, the front part of your shoulder. We'll just be here for three more breaths. Really listening to your body here, only going as far as you want or that your body allows. And then go ahead and roll back onto your belly. Now we'll take the, the other side. So we'll take the left arm or left hand underneath our left shoulder and push on to our right side. 
feeling that stretch in the front part of our shoulders. You got it, you're doing great. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Come back onto your belly. Reach either arm forward, roll onto that side, come into fetal position just for a moment. And then press up to a seated position. You can close your eyes, hands on your thighs or hands at heart center. Thank you for taking the time to stretch out your body, to do something good for you, and just to move. Moving is so wonderful, and I'm so grateful that you chose to move with me today. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Me awkwardly crawling to my computer. Bye.